We're not going outside, Kitty. We are at Walmart parking lot. <laughs> Later on, we're going to try to find a place, okay? <laughs> Going back. So I've been thinking a lot <laughs> in the past couple of days to improve my butt screen. my bug screen <laughs> improve my bug screen and uh <laughs> is it really what i said the first sentence of today <laughs> uh yeah so if you watch all my video i install a little bug screen uh in two minutes and it's just a couple clip and I've been using a lot, not for the bugs, for kitty. This bug screen, it was something that I got maybe at Walmart or something around this. Is it? It's for actually like a, a patio door, uh, and I just put some clip, those little clip here, a clip there, clip there, clip there, and tuck everything back here on the side. Put my water jug on top and it's kind of like what it is. The last night that I was at Walmart here, it was getting a little bit hot uh, and usually I only have my two side windows to kind of leave the cold air in and the breeze and try to cool down the van that way. And I always kind of, you know, a little bit of complaint in the sense that People who don't have a cat uh, can just open their side door and leave like a lot of cold air, you know, breeze inside the van and ventilate before they go to bed. Uh, and I never had that luxury uh, before. Um, on a very hot day, I had two chores that I was doing with fans and try to park in the shade and just stay inside with Kitty and make sure that she was okay until, you know, the hot wave <laughs> passed through. Or go in the backcountry or something around this or in the park, super quiet because Kitty doesn't like car and things like this and just park there and just, you know, like let her with a leash, a long leash and just spend the rest of the day outside with her uh, beside the van and let all the wind all the door open and let things cool down as much as possible uh, which is a great situation a great thing a way great way to cool down the van but it's kind of frustrating because when you travel you don't know where those places are sometimes you travel a little bit longer distance than you wish just to try to cool down the van for me and the cat. What I want to do while we are, I am a, big, a bigger town right now is to improve that situation because every time I go outside things fall, things get complicated, get frustrating so I want something that I can leave there and make it super fast to put the park screen. So I think that's gonna be my mini little project for today. So the screen came with this here. Sorry, this is the mess, the messy, <laughs> the messy one. We'll call it that. Uh, came with this Velcro, super long Velcro. I have a couple more Velcro, but I'm gonna use what they give me. I'm gonna tape one there, not too close because I still want to use those clip when. Uh, I have wet clothes and things that I want to dry. I just clip that there and all this. But yeah, I'm going to put um, this along here and probably go to go to a fabric store and get some clip or something that I can easily remove back and forth. We're going to figure out that.
And when you live in a van, always add Velcro. Velcro and double side tape. This is my friend. <laughs> this is the best thing you can have in your van. Even if someone build your van for you, always keep that handy. Okay, so this is what I had done. So I put the Velcro there. I'm gonna have to, and I put those little straps that I already had. And this is gonna help me to tie the actual box screen. And in winter, because I, if I don't want to have a big box screen there all year long, I can just Velcro things out. So hopefully my idea is gonna work. So let's put the first, first step of this box screen. And at one point, I'm gonna have to cut the bottom because it's a little bit longer than what I need for this door. But I might wait for when I'm gonna go back, do a little, my last little stop and see my friends in Quebec City. My mom um, has got a sewing machine, so I might use it to uh, fix that. This is what the uh, barb screen will look like kind of almost permanently in the summer. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too ugly. I have choice to kind of talk it like this here uh, because I need that length to go a little bit further. And like I said, right now we are pretty much building a cat proof. <laughs> bug screen <laughs> than the actual just box screen because I really need Kelly to stay inside and not try to escape. She's been pretty good but just want to make sure. Alright so I went inside uh, and just uh, I thought about putting some little snap that would be easy but just for that just for the machine the tiny little machine <laughs> I don't know it looked like this <laughs> little machine uh, it's $44 I was like what that's way too much for this little project I don't want to spend $44 for one use uh, so I think we're just gonna use the old velcro so I do have there you go extra velcro Telling you, this is full of tape, velcro. <laughs> That's what you need in the van. All right, so I'm gonna put one little velcro maybe here. Oh, well, what I did? I glued them together. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I got it. So I use those little magnet that I already had that just snapped. Just break them in the glue uh, in those couple of places that only have plastic and use the magnet that they already had. And usually here I have my water bottle so I can put that there so Kitty doesn't try to you know push and things go away. But this is what I'm gonna do when I want to go outside. So just untuck this here, not even the top, and I can just get out. I want to go back on. Just snap things back here, back here. Like I said, this is longer here. Uh, eventually, I'm going to cut it. But yeah. Obviously, that's not something that I'm going to let her, like, you know, like be without me checking on her. You know what I mean? Like, I'm always going to keep an eye to make sure that she doesn't try to push our way out but when we are in some kind of city like we are right now she doesn't even like want uh, with the butt screen that I've done yesterday in the past couple of days she didn't even push like she was a little bit curious but nothing more than that uh, I think she knows I know it's not a good place to go outside in the back country though I have a feeling she's she, she, she's gonna try harder to go with that. <laughs> she's gonna push that bug screen, she's gonna be let me out! But here, it's perfect. There you go. Bark screen, B bug, bug, not bug, bug screen, and caddy proof installed and 
what, five, ten minutes, whatever. Not that long. And that's, that's gonna be a big game changer this summer. Hi guys, so we are in Ikea, 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 whatever you want to call it. Uh, we just gotta look around. Maybe we can find a couple ideas to storage for the van and things when I'm gonna do my big uh, build this winter. So, yeah. Can't take them out, they're tied in there, so. <laughs> they're <laughs> stuck here. Uh, so we're gonna make those lettuce wraps. <laughs> so a little bit of this um, because we're on the eat. Oh, oh, no, you cannot eat it that one. There it's we go. Wrap. And uh, and some bread. <laughs> Careful, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, just, uh, you know. You should pick up your clothes too, by the way. Oh yeah. When you're done. <laughs> Me and my, all my skinny jeans. <laughs> my skinny jeans. <laughs> so I really like those tile there. Look nice in the van to have a tile wall right where the countertop is. Mm -hmm. Veggie hey. dog, baby. Mm -hmm. Not bad, I can't, not bad. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. Uh, I found a couple of little idea maybe for the van. Uh, not so much storage, but maybe decor, cutters, uh, I don't know. We, we, we're gonna change uh, several things uh, when uh, this winter in the van. Yeah, I'm looking forward. It's been on my mind now. Uh, so I'm gonna let you, I hope you enjoy. And I'm gonna let you obviously with Getty. Hello, bye bye. You had a good nap? <laughs> when I say it, you want to give it a little kiss? A kiss, kitty. Kitty, right there. No. Kitty! Kitty! You want a kiss? Can you give a kiss? Eh? A little kiss, please, please. Kitty. <laughs> No. Uh, no, she doesn't want to give any kiss today. No kiss. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you don't have to give a kiss every time. You don't have to. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Oh yeah, she got it. There you go, guys. A lot of love. Oh, that's a lot of love. I think she know. Yeah, when I say it's enough. Yeah. He's so good, baby. <laughs>